paper deals with a, a, a vector window on a, a, on a section of gravity damper. Gravity dampers are a, a one-way valve used in air ducts to prevent uh, overpressure, and um, it's a normally closed device uh, under the effect of the gravity force, and when it's been increased, it uh, begins to open. Uh, here we see a picture of the test in the wind tunnel, and we can see that uh, that's uh, um, articulated quadrilateral uh, to make uh, the, the opening uh, asynchronous movement. And there, are, there is the possibility to mount uh, masses that help, uh, that help the opening. Uh, so this, uh, this paper deals with the structural troubles uh, uh, verified on uh, uh, an opening section. Uh, in general, the UNI, uh, uh, according to UNI, the, there are tests uh, of, of the opening. Sorry. This is uh, uh, an example of a of test that was a video but not working. However, uh, we see that um, mm, uh, an opening per, uh, characteristic per sentence as a function of the speed is given. But if uh, the damper uh, had to be used in, uh, in a dart uh, with high speed uh, wind, um, uh, depression uh, analysis is necessary. Uh, that's because uh, the, the vortex shedding can incur. Uh, vortex shedding is a, a neuroelastic phenomenon that uh, under uh, certain aerodynamic conditions uh, create a, a wake of vortices. That's um, even if even if the wind speed uh, is uh, is constant, uh, the aerodynamic forces generated begin to oscillate, and uh, this uh, can trigger some uh, structural troubles such as uh, flattening and/or uh, fluttering. Not only uh, if uh, uh, the vortex shedding is uh, near or close to uh, some uh, mm, some of the natural frequencies of the structure. Uh, the aerodynamic locking can occur. This uh, is uh, probably the most famous example of uh, locking acting on the structure, that's the Tauma bridge. However, uh, if uh, we're dealing with uh, uh, very simple structures such as uh, uh, circular cylinders, the vortex shedding uh, frequencies can be predicted by uh, these diagrams uh, with the Struan number and the Reynolds number. Um, as, as I said, this paper deals with the vibration induced uh, mm, uh, uh, vortex induced vibration on a, a closer section of a gravity tunnel. And the, the aim of, of the work is to weight the effect of, uh, of the vortex shedding when uh, lock-in occurs. Uh, the presentation is uh, divided into five sections. There is a preliminary the analysis to, um, to check the vortex shedding, a thermal analysis to understand the natural frequencies of the structure, an experimental test conducted in the wind tunnel together with the vibration analysis, and obviously results and discussion. For the CFD, instead of making a full model of the, of the section, uh, it was decided to, uh, to study three different uh, solutions and ground dragon structure. That's uh, uh, the section with no bolts, uh, the bolt facing forward and bolt facing rear, uh, in order to have three different uh, cases of, uh, of shedding. Uh, to obtain these results, a uh, very, uh, very high quality mesh was necessary. And uh, for example, the boundary layer uh, is uh, about 20 layers in one, in one millimeter. So these are the characteristics of the CFD uh, analysis. As we see, there's a less uh, turbulent uh, model. And uh, we see here the vortex shedding individuated in the three, in the three cases analyzed. And, uh, the video is not uh, 
continuous. However, we see that uh, uh, in the three cases, the, um, uh, the CL uh, trend was evaluated. So, a uh, few to say about the trend, that's a very simple model analysis, uh, model analysis uh, that's a uh, uh, easy material, and uh, the, uh, the, the square cylinder was uh, modeled with solid, and the sheet metal was a shell, a shell element. There, uh, uh, there are fixed support near the ends of, of, the, of, the, of the cylinder, and uh, the bodies are welded. And uh, about, we have about uh, 20, 2,500 elements and uh, 600 uh, nodes. Uh, here we see the, the first 10 uh, natural frequencies of the body, and you see that uh, in the, the, the model shapes uh, regarding the, the easy the, the sheet metal begin at about uh, uh, 250 hertz. Just a few words about the wind tunnel. It uh, is a, um, in a closed loop configuration uh, with an envelope of 2.5 meters and the 11 cargo work plates. Uh, that's a 375 electric motor driven by an electric inverter and a top speed of about uh, 170 kilometers per hour. That's an oligon structure uh, behind the test for the test ring to laminate the flow. And the, the section, um, an inlet out section of about two per two meters. Uh, the um, test, uh, experimental test was performed as we see in the picture, and we have uh, uh, the, um, three accelerometers uh, on, uh, on the profile. The, the test was designed to have uh, uh, approximately uh, 40 seconds of the speed regime after uh, 20 seconds of increasing speed run. Uh, here we, we see the um, uh, FFT analysis performed on the uh, lift coefficient of the three uh, sections uh, tested in uh, CFD. And uh, we see that that's, uh, the, the shelling occurs at, at about uh, in the band range that, it, that is uh, 255 to 264 hertz. Uh, here, here uh, as an example, I reported the, the acceleration, acceleration uh, recorded uh, on the uh, acceleration placed in the center of the structure. Uh, together with uh, uh, the RMS value averaged uh, in, in the second. Uh, we see about uh, 100 uh, uh, G in, 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 this, uh, in this point. Uh, so, uh, uh, the, the waterfall analysis uh, uh, puts in evidence three, uh, three lines. The first one at about uh, 240 hertz, uh, hertz model shape uh, that we, we saw in the fan model. Uh, the, the frequency at about uh, 300 Hz is the seventh uh, model shape of the body. And the two, uh, 250 Hz is the uh, vortex shaping of a, a square cylinder at these regular num numbers that we find in the, in the literature. So, uh, to, uh, just to avoid the, the, the lock-in, it was decided to, to create a gap between the frequencies uh, uh, observed, uh, acting both on the structure and uh, both on the vortex shaping. Uh, to, um, to change the vortex shaping frequency, it, it was decided to uh, substitute the, the section with an uh, R4 profile. And to, ch to change the, the frequencies of the, uh, of the structure, uh, um, the same uh, was created a new, a new damper with the same, same uh, frontal section, but was a, a slender damper to, uh, in order to have uh, the section that was quite, quite uh, enough. And beyond that, the, the, the same section was changed uh, in, in the green one. 
we can see the, uh, from the model analysis that uh, the, the frequency is in the, in the, in the band uh, 200, 300, that almost uh, disappeared. And uh, uh, here is a comparison of the three uh, cases analyzed. So, uh, the, 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 this is the LMS value made, made, made in the second of the three, the three uh, sections that we uh, tested in the wind tunnel. Uh, we see that the energy level uh, of the standard, uh, standard one is uh, uh, about uh, 50 times over the the others and uh, the best profile, the best uh, solution is uh, the one with the helpful profile. So, uh, in conclusion, we can see that we can say that uh, the aim of the work was uh, to weight the effect of vortex shaping of a simple structure like this. And uh, to this target, uh, numerical and experimental analysis were performed. Uh, we, can see, we can see that uh, numerical predictions do agree with experimental data and uh, the literature. Uh, the presence uh, and the orientation of bolt and nuts seems not to uh, affect in a substantial way the, the vortex shed frequency. Uh, yes, unless the time history of the acceleration when well occurs is given. Uh, two basic solutions were tested and the R4 provided uh, seems to be the best one. Thank you. <laughs>